Hi everyone, this is Nika71 and you're watching the design secret of my LEGO Technic creation, which is a remote control tracket carrier, based on the LEGO Technic set 4200 Lib Air Excavators parts. I will present you my creation, how it works and how I have designed it. Let's go! After completing my 4200 first alternate, the Vibrosays track, I wanted to make a second alternate in a more classic way with more part and studio design to have a better off-road capabilities. So, I have chosen the Heavy Tracked Courier from Power Bully as an inspiration, which I like a lot, and then started the design. Here is the result a 3kg remote control tracked vehicle for 43cm long, 21cm wide and 26cm height, with motorized track, outrigger, operating crane, fake engine with speed control and of course building its function. So if you own the 42100 LEGO Technic set, you can build it and all the links are in the description. Let's see first how the function works. This creation used 7 motors in the set donor. The first two XL motors are used for the drive of the track, through gearing, which bring more speed than the official LEGO set. They are placed symmetrically in the chassis and act also as a part of it. The track used pendular bogie design, a feather I wanted to create at the beginning, comparing to the fixed bogie on the original set. The chassis has been designed accordingly to allow a small rotation of the bogie, which helps to cross easily on obstacles. The second function is the outriggers, which require a lot of design iteration to implement. They are driven by a L motor placed underneath the rear platform, which drives an axle on each side through gearing. This axle drives four linear actuators, which are placed symmetrically to maintain a compact design. They cannot lift the model because of the operating force angle, but cover a large area around the model. Additional pads can be added and stored on the rear platform. The next function are the operating crane. The crane rotation is operated by a L motor placed underneath the rear platform, which drives a spur key on the table through multiple gearing because there is no warm screw in this set. The final spur gearing has been chosen for its reliability comparing to the Bewell one, which tends to make cracking sound under pressure. The crane has two sections. The first is driven by a XL motor placed in the chassis and acts as a part of it to hold the turntable. It drives directly the linear actuator through a U-joint, ensuring a strong lifting. The second section is driven by a L motor placed in the arm, which drives also a linear actuator placed above as on a forestry crane. This geometry has been chosen to have a strong crane which can lift the diesel generators. Indeed, I wanted at first to create a side folding crane, but the linear actuator was too long for the scale, and the placement of the motor did not fit the design. It resulted in a wobbly and weak crane at first. So, I redesigned the whole crane based on the heavy model with no side folding function, which ensured a better lifting force and stability. Like that, I was able to lift the diesel generator on the back. To finish with the crane function, the second section of the arm can be extended with a manual pin and the hook can be rotated by hand. This extension mechanism has been inspired by the 8436 set, the first set I have bought after my dark age, 
Sometimes a 10 years old solution still remains good. The last function is about the fake engine. As on my previous 42100 alternate, I wanted to have a fake engine which is not connected mechanically to any other function. In that way, I can create a needle function to make it run independently of the other function. Like that, the fake engine can run during the drive or the crane operation. I wanted at first to create a connection in a powered app between all the motors to make run slower or faster the fake engine depending on the other motor. But it was too complicated to implement in a simple way. So I have decided to keep it simple for the people as the program has to be created manually in the app. So a hell motor is dedicated to the fake V8 engine and also drives two fans through gearing. This detail engine is revealed by a cover, but the fan can be seen through the side window. This rotating fan are definitely my preferred detail on this creation. To finish with the openable element and some detail, the cabin door can be opened, revealing a detailed interior with seat, dashboard and even pedals. And the rear platform is packed with some equipment, such as big diesel generators with opening side cover and also a pallet of fuel tanks. I have built at first a container, but it was too big and heavy to be lifted by the crane, so I have decided to divide the equipment into many others which are smaller and easier to handle. To finish with how the model is remote, it is remote controlled using the official LEGO app, the Powered Up app, which is available for Android and iOS. I have created a custom profile with slider, joystick and a program block to operate the model. It is pretty basic but works very good and I have also created a 36 page tutorial to explain step by step how to do and of course this tutorial is included in the instruction. Let's talk now about the design process. There is a lot to say about the design process. As it is an alternate model, there is a lot of compromise. As it is a big build, there are a lot of iteration to find the proper functioning and design. The main idea is that the functions drive the design in this case. I have started by making the function that I wanted which affect the design, the pendula bogey, the hot trigger, the crane, and then work on the rest. It was very important to have a sturdy chassis to handle the weight of the model, but also built in a symmetrical way to have a good weight distribution for stability. That is why some electronic odd parts act as a part of the chassis, like the hub or some motor, but don't be afraid, the battery box can be removed easily, not like my 42082D model, sorry for that. Multiple beam and frame are used to reinforce the chassis from underneath to the top. The result is a flat underneath of the chassis with free stewed ground crawl rounds. As the hub are inside the chassis, I have created two small devices to push directly the physical power on button of each hub, one of the rear platform and one behind the cabin. Then, I work on the design and focus myself to have a sturdy look with a neat design, as usual you will tell me. It has been done by the choice of the parts with the color and their orientation, but also some detail and the global proportion. It is often the part in the project where I need to make a lot of compromise, because it is a B model, so I do not have all I need in the original set, for instance the white connector and some beam and I need to design in function of this inventory. This time, I have chosen to use the original stickers as an advantage, by decorating more the model. For instance, with the warning label near the exhaust or hot part, or for decorating the diesel generators or for the front part. They add nice detail, but are not mandatory if you have not applied them. To finish with some limitations, there are not a lot on this model, as the inspiration model fits well the inventory, but there are some. 
I would have liked to make a folding crane which can lift the initial container but it was not the case because of the length of the linear actuators which were too long for the scale. The consequences of this is the heavy crane is look a bit massive and so the global proportion of the rear platform is a bit small. On the design, I would appreciate having some white connector to have a clean look on specific element such as the top of the cabin but this is a minor point. I have made a lot of iteration and some compromise inside the creation on the chassis and the function, but concerning the design, it is a creation almost without big compromise. Let's conclude with a global appreciation. I am really happy with the result, the functions were good, the set is playable and sturdy. I am satisfied with the design especially the treatment of each white and dark grey surfaces in terms of finishing, detail and the way I handle the original stickers. I would like to thank you for the good reception you did to this model. It is always gratifying to see that the time and work invested is appreciated, especially after my Batmobile, which was not really a huge success. Many thanks for your time. If you want to see the original video, please click on the recommended left video. I also put another interesting video if you are new on my channel, have a look at the link in the description. Please consider subscribing if you like my content, take care, play well, bye.